welcome everyone to my channel on YouTube. Say your Calle Perez and invite you to subscribe, but also click on the bell in order to open the notifications for the coming video. Friday, November 6, 2020, we pray for those who are still sick, any kind of illness, especially the COVID-19, they need to recover. We pray for those who have been resting in peace and have been departing from our side. We are still praying for the harmony and peace and the establish of the democracy <coughs> in all places, especially in the elections that we continue counting the votes here in the United States. Being short or being righteous. Yes, one common goal that we all tend to have in life is the desire to achieve and succeed Although this is, may seem like a great goal for all of us, at what price does it come? As much we, as we would like to discredit the idea, there are many of us that will do anything to succeed, even if it means having a disregard of others' feelings. Researchers states that when someone shows kindness or fairness, some or even most people trying to exploit them. They have no thought of betrayal or backstabbing. These people, the so-called Machiavellas, believe that everyone shares the same mindset as theirs. There are a few people who are not part of these selfish acts. And this brings us the idea how even for Catholics, no Catholics, Christian, no Christian, believers, no believers, we can take the passage of the Holy Scriptures and look in the chapter 16 when Jesus tells the parable that was a man who was rich and called one of the, his uh, servants, the steward, to re gave the report and that the report uh, summoned all what he had. However, this stewardship who behaved wrongly and has no a way to continue to work because that has no other skills. He had an idea how to, uh, Machiavella's idea, how he can do something for him, something canny, smart, sure, that can be succeed. And he invite all he has, the debtors of the uh, rich man, and seeing he was seen that was no longer uh, being the steward of, of this master. So he took the, uh, uh, the notes uh, of the debtors and changed the amount, the quantity. So in that way, Jesus focused something and said, oh, this was so smart for doing so because of the darkness. But how about our yours, who is the sons of the light? The sons of the light means that even we need to be smart and canny in order how we can succeed against Satan's attacks. We can use our knowledge. We can use everything that we get, even the experiences, even through the study, even to something else, that we can help people but also uh, uh, being the light, be those, the farol of who can project the light and show to other people what is the way. So we can behave like being church or being righteous person. So uh, the promissory note that he took, he, the chains, give you the idea that probably he was very smart, but who is dishonest steward? for acting in that way. Even he was considered something prudently in order to keep the friendship of others and after they can welcome him to the home, we need to understand that many people in the world today be, uh, believe that doing so, he being a smart and success. So the children of, uh, of God, of the Lord, are indeed successful in their manipulation of worldly things that we see and experience today. Whereas the children of light are not as a truth, truth 
when it comes to the worldly things. So what that this tell us, and certainly it doesn't tell us that we should enter into the worldly life striving to live by worldly standards and working toward worldly goals. In fact, by acknowledging this fact about the worldly, God or Jesus is presenting us with a strong contrast as to how we should think and act. We are called to be the children of light. Therefore, we should not be surprised at all if we are not as successful in worldly things as others who are immersed in the secular culture. This is especially true when we look at the numerous successes of those who are fully immersed in the world and the values of the world. Some are successful in obtaining great wealth, power, or prestige be being truth and things at this age. We see this in the pop culture especially. Take, for example, the entertainment industry. There are many who are quite successful and popular in the eyes of the world, and we can tend to have a certain envy of them. Compare that those who are fulfilled or filled with virtue, humility, and goodness, we often find that they go unnoticed. So what will we do? We should use this parable to remind us ourselves that all that matters in the end is what God thinks. What does God see us in the effort we give is living a holy life? As children of life, we must work only for that which is eternal, nobody which is worldly in passing. God will provide for our worldly needs if we put our trust in him. We may not become huge success in accord with worldly standards, but we will obtain greatness in regard to all that truly matters and all that is eternal. Building such charity is committed to, is committed to help those who are a struggle to focus their life and balance the knowledge, worldly knowledge, and the richness, worldly, uh, but also struggle being the differences between how to be successful, spiritual, psychological, intelligent, so and on. Without your help, it's impossible to continue, but your don donation, your financial uh, donation will help us to provide the quality of people uh, who can hire us uh, in order to provide the service to those who really need, but also we extend the geographic uh, areas to continue serving other people. And we you do the donation, go to our website, pilgrimsocharity.com, and you see the way that you can donate us. So your donation give the second opportunity to other people and the bright future. I'm praying for you, pray for me, may God bless you.